Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan once again in this very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations where we are going to simplify x power 2020 plus 1 over x power 2020 if x power 10 plus x power 5 plus 1 equal to 0. I am going to present three methods. So let's get started by writing first method and one identity. We know that a cube minus b cube it is equal to a minus b a square plus b square plus a b or plus a b plus b square okay now if you will see this equation only then it will come out once i will write x power 5 whole cube minus 1 that means 1 cube a cube minus b cube so first bracket i will be having x power 5 minus 1 in second a square so x power 10 a b if i will write then x power 5 b is 1 so it will be 1 now you can see this is our equation this one so this value will come out x power 10 plus x power 5 plus 1 equal to let me write this is 15 minus 1 divided by x power 5 minus 1 which is equal to 0 it is given in the problem okay now by equating equal to 0 so i can write from here we are getting x power 15 is equal to 1 All right. Now come to what we have to simplify. So I can consider 2020. 0, 0. How I can consider this one? I will write x power 2010 plus 10 plus 1 over same way here x power 2010 plus 10. Now I can write 2010. It is divisible by 15. So how I am writing, I will write x power 15 whole power 134, 134 and plus 10. So I have to write here x power 10. Similarly in the denominator, this side, I will write x power 15 whole power 134. If you will check, the product is 2010 x power 10. So this value will be this value is 1. This value is 1. So what is left? x power 10 plus 1 over x power 10. Now because of x power 15 is 1, I can write in the numerator. See here I can write x power 10 as it is. In this place, I am writing x power 15. Because x power 15 is 1. So divided by x power 10. So I can write this is equal to x power 10 plus x power 5. And from our equation, this equation, it is equal to x power 10 plus x power 5 equal to minus 1. So our answer becomes negative 1. This is how we will use this method. This is way or approach number 1. Now let us consider the second approach. It is also the algebraic approach only. Let me write 2. So I am considering this equation and dividing both sides by x power 5. So I will be having x power 10 over x power 5. So x power 5 plus x power 5 over x power 5 1 plus 1 over x power 5 equal to 0. So x power 5 plus 1 over x power 5 it is known it is minus 1 okay what we have to find out in method 1 we have seen it is x part 10 plus 1 over x part 10 this value we have to find out okay so what i will do i will write this equation and i will take a square both sides let us see equal to minus 1 take a square both sides it will be a square so x power 10 plus b square 
so x power 10 plus 2ab so only 2 equal to 1 so x power 10 plus 1 over x power 10 it would be 1 minus 2 so x power 10 plus 1 over x power 10 which is same value we have already seen 2020 0, 0 plus 1 over 2020 0, 0 equal to negative 1. This is how we can find out by the algebra. Algebraic identities you can say. Third approach using complex number. Okay. Let us consider x power 5. Let me write this equation. Let us consider x power 5 equal to y. So I am writing x power 5 equal to y. This equation will become y square plus y plus 1 equal to 0. So if you will find out the solution, we have seen this equation earlier also. This one will give us minus 1 by 2 plus minus solution root 3 over 2 which is nothing but we will get the cube root of unity. If you remember in the last video we have seen that one. So what I will get omega. So I can write the two roots are one, one with plus sign and another with minus sign. We can consider omega omega square. Okay. So this is very common and very very important quadratic equation. So what I am going to put. See y is equal to x power 5. So I will write x power 5 is equal to omega. Okay. So our, our expression which we have to find out 2020 0, 0 plus 1 over x power 2020. 0, 0, we will write this in power of 5. So how I will write? I will write 2020 0, 0 at x power 5 whole power 1. Uh, four, it is 404. 0, 0 plus 1 over x power 5 power is 404. Now you can see I, I have to put x power 5 equal to omega. So it is omega power 404 plus 1 over omega power 404. Now if I will put in the original equation, if I will put x power 5 equal to omega, see the equation will become I will write omega square plus omega plus 1 equal to 0. See second equation is also verified. That means omega cube is equal to 1. So what I will do? I will write this 404 as omega cube in terms of omega cube so that this value I can put 1 times 134 omega square and similarly in the denominator. Omega cube times 134 into omega square. Now because of omega cube is 1, this expression value will be, let me write here, omega square, this value, omega, omega cube is 1, so what is left? Omega square plus 1 over omega square. Now here I can write again or you can take LCM, this value I will write omega cube. So it will become omega square plus omega cube over omega square. In next step, I will write omega square plus omega and see this equation is there. Omega square plus omega equal to minus 1. So this is third way of thinking using complex number. Okay, where we have used the cube root of unity concept and this is very important quadratic equation in that sense and see the roots minus half plus minus i root 3 by 2. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video.